everybody and welcome to the sound test room where this evening we are going to take a look a good look a good deep deep dive into playbeat um from audio modern creative create uh, you see steve and you see it's auv3 can add a load of them which is what we shall get into as well but it's uh it's a marvelously fun and entertaining creative let me just fix that creative beat making uh, app um so we'll just start from scratch uh in case anyone's not 100 percent um yeah yeah this this is good you should you should use this a lot it's it's interesting uh for, especially in uh, AUM well which is your kind of domain um excuse me right okay so what we'll do is I'll just uh, ditch this one and open another one audio unit play beat uh and we should be with a blank slate i've saved now so what i did was i uninstalled the app and then uh, reinstalled a completely blank blank thing so there's no pattern saved or anything like that or no well if you like presets and stuff um so hi colin so uh hi everybody hi sam sam's going to be very happy very very happy in in about two days time anyway more of that in two days time um yeah uh so let, let's let's just crack on with this play beat you have four tracks but um you can of course add more and more and more um okay so uh let's see we want to add sounds to play beat now we can load entire kits if we save them ourselves or we can load individual samples, which we need to do to get, kind of get started if there's if you've got nothing already in here. So you have four tracks. We choose, you can see, you can say, it'll say save kit or load kit. Well, we've got nothing to load, so it's poss not no point in going in there just at the moment. Um, first of all, we want to load. Let's, so let's, let's, let's keep this dead basic. I'm going to keep this, it's 16 steps, but we can do 32. Or we can do anything from... If we're on all, don't forget, we can just move this down and go like, let's do a finger. We could just have one step. And this is per track. So you could just set like the kick to just four beats, if you like, or four bars or anywhere in between or up to 32. So you're not just limited to having a kind of set pattern. So let's start by loading in some samples. Now you do get loads of samples to start with, or you can import from the files app like this, which we might also get into, but that's quite quite straightforward. You know, you just load from wherever you, you are. If you want like kicks from like, say one of Dean's packs or something, you, you go there and it'll load it in. But we're gonna go load sample and these are the ones that come with it and we can, We can sample them before we load them, which is always very, very, very handy. So let's load that one there by double tapping it. And now we have this kick in here. So let's let's continue with a more sensible sort of regime. Um, let's load sample and this time, let's go and find a snare. That sounds okay. Trying to keep it straightforward. So open this load sample. And I guess this one we could have hey, uh, some hi-hat. So. That one I quite like. Just double tap on that. So now we've got our hi-hat loaded in there. Uh, I can now use some sample packs now have space. I got, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Dean's drum, you're right. Well, Dean's drum stuff is is just epic for this, and Daniel samples as well. So you don't have, just have to use drum samples, but maybe we'll set up something dead basic, and then we'll kind of get experimental in another instance of play beat on another track. Uh, so in this one, we'll just put some percussion, I guess. Um, we can go down and sample different. Quite like that one. 
it's oops oh dear it is crashed let's have to do it again it's weird i don't think i've ever had a crash in play beat hmm i've got that one in there very odd um quick snare And load a hat. I love that one. And some percussion. So I mean, it's, dead, it's actually it's dead easy to load stuff in. Now, once you've got your stuff loaded in, <clears throat> you have options here. You can just choose pair kit and then kind of randomize like this. And if you want to clear that pattern out, you can either do it like that, rest randomize again, or you see just above this here, just above those six little dots there, there's a little like eraser. You can just tap that and it'll erase them. Or you can just put, put it in. So let's just put in kind of like a, a four on the floor and let's press play. Now you hear that, that ratcheting. If we go to density, You'll see here it says four. Well, I don't know if you can see because I don't know if I can get this much darker actually. We'll see. So you can see what's going on. There's a little four there. We'll just take that down to one. And you'll hear that they're different velocities as well. See? So if we look at volume, you'll see we've got a 71 on this. Well, let's take this up to take it all up full so there's no variation in velocity however wherever you are here and you'll see that there's there's some variation on the pitch it's a drum but if we go right up but you see if you're thinking to yourself, right, I'm fiddling around too much now, trying to get the pitch right on my kick drum, just take your velocity, your maximum velocity, so minimum and maximum are exactly the same, and then just r randomize the pitch, and it'll randomize it to F2 because that's the range you've set. So that's a nice little tip if you're if you've got tons of random <clears throat> random uh, variations in pitch, velocity, volumes, or pan, the ranges are always going to be. That was my fault. The ranges are always going to be there for you to adjust. So <clears throat> if you're Adjusting the ranges for a step if you go a minimum of three and a maximum of four That's what you're going to get in here if you randomize Okay, so So I'm just putting these in as normal So there you go, dead basic beat. And what I'm gonna do with this dead basic beat is I'm just gonna hit preset. <coughs> and that has now saved that beat into this preset. And if we look up here, you'll see we have one preset. And what we can do is we'll save that with, with its samples as well. So that when it comes back to remembering it, it'll reload in all the samples as well as the actual sounds and the rhythm and every, everything will be remembered which is very cool so we'll open another one and we'll get a bit more creative so this time we won't load any we'll load some different types of samples or different effects maybe or something like that I'll turn the volume down as well for this one while we're messing around with this one. And this is where you can start to have really great fun, you know? 
So let's import audio this time and see what we've got here. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually, I don't think I can, um, sort of uh, demo the loop. Where are we in? I want to be in audio share files. No, it's where we are now. Um, let's go and find some, I want to find some of Daniel's speaking ones. I'm not sure that where, where actually am I? Ah. Audio share. Ow. Oh. Flip it heck. What the flipping else going on here? Right, there we go. Right, that's better. Can't seem to. Get back to me, me thing here. There we go. Um, right, so just let me find me vocals. I'm having issues here. just going to load in a few patches. Captain Braddock, ready. Captain Braddock, ready. Captain, Captain Braddock, ready. Captain, Captain Braddock, ready. Captain, Captain Braddock, ready. Captain Braddock, Captain, 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 Captain Braddock, 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 Hi, Daniel. We can start to add variations to this second one. To all of it. Ready. 
Just change the resolution on all of it. So if we had another one, or an ordinary one, say, go back to steps here. I'm going to switch off randomization for this lane. But if we go and look at the other lane, you'll see that it's all still switched on. Take the actual res back up to 16. You can see it. Just for this one. So you have independent control of absolutely everything. This is a this is a do this. Go back to steps here and let's add a maximum of eight steps over the entire group. Switch that off a sec. But like I was saying at the moment, that kick drum there is on a resolution of 1 16th. Well, let's put the kick drum on a higher res, like 132. See it now? It's ridiculously creative, it really is. Well, let's choose this line. Let's go to density and let's Two. And then back to our original pattern. 
So you can really, really it's like having parameter locking. added that bass now and then with the bass we could just randomize the pitch Then we could randomize the pitch with on the noise. Increase the range. entire level with this fader here from whatever lane is selected you 
Newton solo. Yeah, come sit loads. <coughs> Excuse me. It comes with, um, I'll show you the samples. It comes with all of these samples here. So it's, it is mainly drums and you can, you can, you can, you know, sample them before you use them sort of thing. So there's quite, a, there's, there is quite a lot of samples it comes with, but it is mainly drums and percussion. But important from the sample, the files app is, it's super, super easy with this dead, dead simple stuff. Like I said, it's very creative, but it can be tamed. It's not like you're, it's not like you're going OTT and it can be very straightforward. For instance, if we completely just wipe out this one session and just add one more uh, play beat in here uh, and open that up again, set it up from scratch is dead easy, but it remembers the previous patterns. It will load the pattern and the actual thing. So we're back to our dead basic beat. So that it remember it remembers sixteen snapshot patterns on the front, but you you can save as many patterns as you like. So, um, you know, so that's like just a basic drum pattern. <clears throat> the things to remember are that if you have all selected, whatever you do, like randomization wise. We'll randomize everything. Let's go back to our pattern. But if you have, say for instance, let's look at the, the density. The density is like the ratcheting effect. So if we hear it on a snare. If we have a, 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 a like an automation lane, if you like, or some sort of lane selected like density. <coughs> and we hit this little padlock. When we randomize all now, density will not change. And why did it? Oh, that's why. Because I've gone back to all. Sorry about that, folks. Let's just go to uh, density a lock density and randomizes everything else bar the density so it randomized over everything so we can have a look at the snare. So we're on pitch. Pitch is kind of straightforward, obviously straightforward. Also, this allows you to duplicate the pattern in the row. So I'll show you that again, which is quite nice. So let's pick this one. Hold these little six dots, just drop it onto the next lane like that. So you can create some interesting variations doing things like that. I, I do like ratcheting though, so I'm going to uh, do a bit of variation. On there, uh, that was on all, and on the snare. Done it there.
if you if you if you're watching the video and you're enjoying it please strike the like thank you How are you?
there they go. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Awesome. You see what happens? You see what happens when you just start to mess about? Madness. Madness. Uh, yeah, it was a good fun. And you see, that's how brilliant Playbeat is. When you start to mess around with all this stuff, you can just... And then start adding other things and a riffer. And a, I mean, that, to be fair, that was pretty basic stuff, wasn't it? We had two riffers, a bit, a few effects. A looperator is brilliant, isn't it? One synth master one, and uh, a couple of phase delay rays, which is still a marvelously creative, just just a piece of lunacy. It's just great stuff, great stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm glad that turned out the way it did. I'm also glad as well. I ran through the tutorial side of Playbeat because having all this stuff is is really handy for creative creative beat making. You know, not necessarily. Yeah, oh yeah, that was another thing, wasn't it? Was slowing it all right down. That's uh you get some really nice nice effects when you do that. Cool stuff. Anyway, um well I'm glad you enjoyed that guys. Um <clears throat> I'm first now, I'm gonna just swig me beer. Yeah, so that was it. That was a look at that. Cool stuff. Slow. I did a, a video a while ago, didn't I? Caught uh, slow. It was slow motion. It was because it will go down to twenty BPM. Wouldn't it be lovely if it went down to something like f five BPM or something or one? Uh, because when you start to do that and you start to add big, massive. Thanks, you, thank you, peanut cram. When you start to add massive reverbs and space, so the odd hit every now and then, and it just starts to blossom and bloom. Ah, oh, it's just, just, just wicked stuff, wicked stuff. Um, yeah, just awesome. Uh, ah, oh, thanks, Daniel. Thanks, thanks, Daniel. Uh, you are a creative one. Oh, not really. Do you know what, Russ? Though, to be fair, to be fair, the 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 apps really do the work. It's the apps that are creative, aren't they? You know, you're just really just messing around with bits and pieces. I think so. Um, New Year's New Year Day Jam 2020, Doug. Did did I do one on you? I didn't think I did one on New Year's Day. Did I? I am doing another live jam. I might try and get that set up tomorrow. Actually, Blossom and Bloom. Yeah, well, that's it. Is true though, isn't it? Just everything just goes. If you get one like really powerful impact, boom, and then you've got all this kind of shimmers and big reverbs and stuff they'll just end off going and with delays and things like that as well and you've got to experiment you've got to throw a few different effects in and stuff haven't you and go oh hang on a minute did that work did this this working out all right sort of thing anyway um for well not it's not it's not um four o'clock here kev it's uh you know ten to nine at, at night <laughs> <laughs> proper late enough for beer i'd say actually you know four o'clock in the afternoon but uh yeah that that was the 20 bpm job yeah but i did do one ages ago like where it was just i did a slow i can't remember what i called it now it was quite popular people seem to like it um but yeah awesome stuff Anyway, thank you for joining me this evening where we took a look at Playbeat tutorial and then kind of just added to it to make some sort of crazy session where everything just keeps evolving and changing. Lovely stuff. I shall let you um, go. I'll let you say ta to each other for a few minutes. Hopefully see you tomorrow. <coughs> if I get inspired to do one of the live sessions, I'll do that. Um, otherwise, we shall do something else, no doubt. I do enjoy building up these kind of crazy sessions, though. It's my favourite thing, I think. It's, yeah, I do, I do love it. Anyway, I shall see you guys a bit later. Cheer on. Thank you for watching.